Hi Tack, this is just a quick video uh, to show you how you can reverse a video uh, and maintain pretty much the same quality. So here I have a video here from my HD camcorder and I'm just going to drag and drop it into the mixing screen. The first thing I want to do is just check the properties of the file to find out what the original target frame size is. So I just right click on it and I go to File, Properties. Here then I can tell that the the original video, the width and the height was 1280 by 720. The format is an MPEG-4. So what I want to do is first of all I just want to change the target frame size to the original. So I'll just go to a 1280 by 720. And then what I want to do is ro um, rotate the image. So just click on the segment properties and uh, what I want to do is flip it. So what I can do is just um, use the rotate pot like so but if I want to get an exact um, 180 flip uh, just click on this rotate image 90 degrees button and then click it again so now the image is completely flipped like so now there are other buttons, I'll just restore it again, there are other buttons where you can invert the image like so, so it's flipped around again from left to right, I'll just show you there or you can invert it up and down as well so you can flip and invert and rotate so you can just play around with it and see what you're looking for here so I'll just restore it back to its original and what I'll do is I'll just rotate it by 90 okay so after that I want to export it so as you can see the image is now completely flipped the video is completely flipped 180 and then what I want to do is I want to export it out so I click on the export button and then you'll see that the target frame size is automatically picked what I said in the mixing screen so it's going to be 1280 by 720 now if you want to render it off with pretty much the exact same quality, pretty high quality uh, with very little loss go to H.264 and go up to high quality level 5 so I'll just select level 5 30 frames a second which is the max and the frame size which we set up here I can also select different audio quality so I can actually pump it up to 3 320 kbps as well and then just save it as video flipped and then I can save it to my desktop and then once I'm happy I just click save like so uh, if I want to do that in the mixing screen in the track order I can just do the same so I again just right click on it get the file properties I know it's 1280 by 720 click on the export button within the mixing uh, within the track order and then go down here and select 1280 by 720 so there we go and then pump it up, pump it up to H.264 level 5 again and um, just save it again so that's how you can do it in both the track order and the mixing screen if you just want to flip the video, rotate it without any sort of rendering at all I'd recommend you get VLC player it's a free player uh, I'll include a link in the video here and you just right click and when you would just say plain default player now I've got VLC as my default player so here's the video here and then I can go to view no, sorry tools effects and filters and in the video effects I can just go um, ge um, geometry and then just check on the rotate button and then I can just rotate it any way I want now you're gonna have to do this every time you want to play this video so it's probably not the most ideal but if you just want to flip it to play it uh, it's an option to use the VLC player to do that but if you want it just to always open up and flipped uh, I recommend using track axe and using the segment properties or flipping it in the track cutter like so
and then exporting it. Uh, I hope that helps, and uh, if you've got any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.